In a fiery speech tonight, President Trump demanded funding for a wall, threatening to shut down the government if he does not get his way. In the same speech, he proclaimed he would likely terminate NAFTA. One way or the other, we'll build that wall, Trump said, leading chance of build the wall. Building a border wall was a central part of his campaign platform, along with the promise that Mexico would pay for it. But Mexico has flatly rejected paying for a wall, and the expensive proposal has little support in Congress, even among Republicans. Congress has until September 30 to pass a funding bill, and Trump could veto a budget that does not include funds for a border wall, causing a government shutdown. Trump also said he doubts renegotiating the North American Free Trade Agreement will work. I think we'll end up probably terminating NAFTA at some point, he said. Trump hinted that he would pardon Joe Arpaio, the former Maricopa County, Arizona, sheriff who was convicted last month of criminal contempt for racial profiling. Earlier in the day, the White House said a pardon would not come during the speech. I'll make a prediction. I think he's going to be just fine, Trump said. I won't do it tonight because I don't want to cause any controversy, Trump said. But Sheriff Joe can feel good. Trump began his speech repeating his statement from last Tuesday in the aftermath of deadly violence at a white supremacist rally in Charlottesville, Virginia but notably omitting the key phrase casting blame on many sides that caused the furor over his remarks in the first place. Trump then said that he did condemn white supremacists in a speech last Monday. I hit him with neo-Nazi, I hit him with everything. KKK? We have KKK. I got them all, he said. While not specifically mentioning Charlottesville, Trump on Tuesday said. They are trying to take away our history and heritage in response to calls to remove statues of Confederate leaders, and falsely claim weak people are seeking the removal of statues of George Washington, Abraham Lincoln, and Theodore Roosevelt. Trump attacked, at various times, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell and Arizona Senators John McCain and Jeff Flake. Trump also spent about 10 minutes railing against the media, calling them liars and un-American. I really think they don't like our country. I really believe that, Trump said. Trump supporters were met by a mass of protesters outside the downtown arena, and there were reports of confrontations, with police firing tear gas at demonstrators after the speech ended. What do you think about this? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section. Let's make this go viral, share this on Facebook and Twitter and let us know what else you think. And don't forget to help support us by subscribing and joining us on Patreon, by clicking on our Patreon link in the description box down below. Don't forget to check out our all new website with much more content than on this YouTube channel. If you are seeking the best in facial and clear skin regimens and products along with skin age reversal and so much more from the makers of ProActive, including an opportunity to work from home and earn a residual income, please visit our partner, the link is in the description box below. Now, if you are ready to check out the most extreme things that you never knew existed please check out Change Tonight at www.changetonight.com. Let the world know your thoughts on this story. Market Watch helped contribute to this report. Thanks for watching and goodbye from all of us here.